and here's the field. Number one, Scoot and Cam, owned by Maynard Pontrager. The trainer, Willard Miller, Sam Widger, will drive. We'll skip number two, Fiddle Master, for now. Here's number three, Let's Roll Jack, owned by James Couch in the Lily Racing Stable Incorporated. Jim Scholes trains. Andy Miller gets the call. Four is McClock, owned, trained, and driven by Jerry Longo. Five, Squazalot, owned by Patrick Curtin. Paul Stafford trains. Pat Perry in the bike. Six, Artie's Wiper, owned by Robert Posley, Jr. James Horvath, Jr. trains. Brent Holland will drive. Seven is Mac BJ's Knight, owned by Gotcha at the Wire and George Clegg. George Clegg trains. Ryan Anderson will drive. And once again, we'll be waiting for number two, Fiddle Master, to make his way onto the track. Here they come. They're off and pacing in tonight's second race. Driving out on the inside goes Fiddle Master in the center of the track. Squaws a lot left quickly. Also looking for a spot on the outside. Mac, BJ's Knight. Into the first turn they go. Fiddle Master driving through from the inside, but there goes Squaws a lot up on the outside, and Squaws a lot will take over the early lead. Fiddle Master is back to second. Up on the outside, Mac BJ's Knight is third. Getting away in fourth is Let's Roll Jack. Then it's Artie's Wiper next. McLock is uh, in sixth. The trailer scooting Cam in the field of seven by an opening quarter, 29 and three. Heading down the back stretch, Mac BJ's Knight takes over the lead, but out and driving from the three hole, there goes Fiddle Master, and Fiddle Master now back to the front. That's Mac BJ's Knight now releasing him and going back to second. Racing along in third is Squazalot. Three lengths back, let's roll Jack, races fourth, then it's Artie's Wiper in fifth. Following that one goes uh, Scootin' Cam and McClock as they head past the half in 57-2. and two. It's Fiddle Master with the lead into the far turn by two and a half. Mac BJ's Knight is second. Squazalot racing in third, let's roll Jack is fourth. Then looking uh, to get underway in fifth goes Artie's Wiper. Following that one, McClock. At the end is Scootin' Cam as they race to the top of the stretch. Fiddle Master is the one to catch. He leads it by two and a half. Mac, BJ's Knight enjoying a perfect ground-saving journey in second. Three quarters, one, 27 flat. They turn for home, and Fiddle Master leads it by two. Mac BJ's Knight is second. Squaws a lot looking to get out in third. Then racing in fourth, let's roll Jack. Through the stretch, that's Fiddle Master now drawing away by three lengths. Here comes Squaws a lot. Also late pace from Artie's Wiper. The final 16th of a mile, and it's still Fiddle Master on the outside. Squaws a lot. Fiddle Master looking for the wire. Very tight. Fiddle Master may have hung on over Squaws a lot and Artie's Wiper. A tight three horse photo, 155 and 4. Now returning to the winner's circle is number two, Fiddle Master. Fiddle Master is a five year old gelded son of Sports Master out of the Ideal Society mare, Banjo on My Knee. He is owned and trained by Glenn Brooks of Geneseo, Illinois. Driven to victory tonight by Tim Tietrick. Fiddle Master pacing the mile, 155 and four. And that puts a lifetime mark on this five-year-old. Prices are up for tonight's second race. We'll read you across the board since we are having trouble with that tote board. Number